Hello everyone, we are back with another YouTube video, but this time it's gonna be a little bit different. We've actually got the introduction of Grind XP, and you guys might be wondering, what the heck is Grind XP, Joe? Why are you trying to do another thing? And I have created this group on our Discord channel so that we can finally start doing, and taking action for all the things that we've ever dreamt of doing, for all the things we've ever wanted to accomplish. This specific Discord chat is for you. You are surrounded by a community that ultimately wants to encourage uh, you to accomplish all of your goals, to to go out there and do the thing that scares you the most. And along the way, we're gonna be introducing some very unscripted videos, just like the one you're seeing right now, um, to introduce some challenges, some exercises that you guys can follow along and complete. And ultimately, we hope that these challenges will help you that much more accomplish your goals. And yes, along the way, I'll be supplying a few prizes uh, so be on the lookout for that. Don't just do it for the prizes, by the way. Uh, don't be that selfish. This is uh, just a little bit of encouragement, a little bit of reward for you guys, for those who do take the time, spend the time to invest in themselves, and at the same time motivate each other as part of the Yukatsu family to do great things. So let's get started with this whole assignment. I'm going to switch it over to our desktop view. I'm just using our stream setup, by the way. We have a lot of kids who use this stream setup. I know Jordan, who's not a kid anymore, he's graduated, he's using our stream setup. But very quickly, we're gonna do our first challenge, which is setting up a good habit for, for 2020. Uh, don't think of it as, hey, this is the only thing I'm going to do, but at the same time, I want you to laser focus on one thing that you would like to do more this year. Don't do 50 new things, that's never going to work. You need to concentrate and laser focus what is important to you. Um, but before we get started with that, I wanted to show you guys our Discord channel. If you haven't joined our Discord, then you probably won't be seeing this video, but encourage your friends to join this as well, because down here under the new tab, Yukatsu Grind XP, that's where you're gonna find our announcements. We just made this post not too long ago, last Thursday. I know I said I was gonna drop a video on Saturday, but things got crazy, and so that video is dropping today, which I think is Monday or Tuesday, don't hurt me. Grind XP chat, that's for you guys and us to talk back and forth, motivate each other. Uh, this actually has my specific goal um, for the week, not the week, excuse me, the year. And so my personal habit that I'm going to use in this example is a real one, the one that I will be practicing along with your goals and habits too, which is to habitually play uh, guitar more and to learn to play and sing at the same time. It's always been a dream of mine. It's something I've always said, I think I'll do that. I go uh, pretty hard for a month or two, but then it kind of wanes out. Well, I want that to culminate into a year's worth of productivity. So at the end of the year, I can say, yes, Joe, I am now a habitual guitar player and singer. And so together, we're gonna to create and do the framework for that. I'm gonna use my goal as an example, just so you guys can learn how to do this for yourself. You guys don't need a computer to do this. You can write it down on your phone and take a screenshot to submit it. You could use pen and paper, pencil, totally fine too, or you can use Google Docs. I'm using Google Docs, that way um, you guys can see on screen what I am about to write, and at the same time, um, kind of, I, I want to be legible too. Some of you guys might not be able to read my handwriting. So let's start. And this does not have to be some crazy MLA format. This is not some crazy format for you to say, oh, I need to turn this in for a grade. I want you, the whole point of this is to think about what you want. No one else is allowed to tell you what you want in life. Uh, as long as it doesn't harm anyone. That's, that's the very important uh, asterisk that I want to add to all of this. Uh, but yes, Yukatsu is here. Yes, we play video games together, but ultimately my mission for starting Yukatsu is so that I can help you guys uh, accomplish everything that you set out to do and to feel supported along the way. It's not what your parents want for you. They're looking out for you, but it's not what they want for you. It's not what your friends expect you to be. It's not what your coworker expect, expects you to be. It's not what your boss wants you to be. This is what you want. And so you might find yourself struggling at first to, to really think about what exactly do I, <clears throat> excuse me, do I want? And that's okay. 
uh, take this time to really think about your habit that you want to set for 2020. For me, um, I'm starting with a small one. And it's not to say that there won't be other habits I might be forming. I'm just picking one. So pick one with me, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to start. We're going to say our week one objective, because this is our first you grind XP week one objective, forming good habits. You guys can follow along with me. I'm gonna go super fast here. I'm gonna go super fast. I'm gonna bump up the, the text so that you guys can read with me. Um, so step one, step one, come up with a habit goal. Wow, habit goal for 2020. You guys can tell it's not edited because I'm making mistakes and that's okay. Come up with a habit goal for 2020. For me, my habit goal is play guitar more regularly and sing. I've always had a passion for music um, and singing and doing the both of them at the same time. Acoustic covers are awesome. And so that is something that I've always wanted to do. I've, I've taken stabs at it before, but this time I want to be able to confidently say this by the end of 2020, I am a habitual singer, guitar player. Step two. And that might not be as easy for you guys to come up with, by the way. Take the time to really think about it. Step two, create a measurable year and goal. And so this one's really important. You need to be able to create something that you can evaluate numerically or statistically to say, did or did I not accomplish this? The reason why you want something measurable is because it's a hard yes or no. Did I do this? Yes. Did I not do this? No. For instance, I want to be a diamond tier League of Legends player. Did I accomplish this? Measurably, uh, you can say no. Did I not accomplish this? You can say yes. Whatever you have set in mind, make sure it is measurable. And so for me, a good way for me to measure whether or not I have the habit of playing guitar regularly throughout the year is 12 cover songs memorized. So what I'm trying to say is by the end of the year, I'll be able to perform, if I really wanted to, um, 12 songs without having to read guitar tabs, without having to look up the notes, um, without having to practice over and over and over again just to get, to get the song across. I want to be able to do 12 cover songs memorized, um, and I'm going to add recorded. So that means I'm going to record either an audio, I doubt I'm going to do a video, I don't like the way I look on videos. Surprisingly, I know I do a lot of them, but I hate it, so I don't take a lot of pictures of myself. Um, but 12 cover songs. If I can perform 12 cover songs by December 2020, I'll know that I have done my job. So that's step two, create the measurable goal. Step three is to break down your goal, your year end goal to help you form a plan because plans are very important. Plans don't always work out the way you want them to, but having a plan and specifically writing it down helps you accomplish that plan. The likelihood of you accomplishing that plan goes up, I think, 40%. Don't quote me on that, but that is a true statistic is when you write things down, when you write down your goal, you are that much more likely, you are measurably more likely to accomplish it. So write it down, type it down, do whatever you need to. Uh, I've written these down already. I'm just typing them right now so that you guys have a legible piece of paper to look at as you follow along with me. And thank you, if you're, if you're still watching this video, holy moly, thank you for continuing to follow on. All right, so in my breakdown of my goal, I want to include more measurable things. And yes, you want to be able to be realistic about this. You cannot be a, the likelihood of you being a million subbed YouTuber in one year is very unlikely. <clears throat> Meanwhile, something like uh, 12 cover songs, I think is very realistic. I couldn't have done 50 cover songs, especially with the occupation that I have now. So 12 cover songs, that breaks down into um, 12 cover songs equals one song a month. See, I'm breaking down this process into more digestible monthly goals. Um, let's see, I would assume that I would need about eight hours per song um, for for me to be able to perform it without looking it up anymore. Eight real practice hours. That equates to about 
Okay, we're gonna do a little bit of math here. It's 60 minutes. That's a 480 minutes. And if I divided that by 30 days, I would have to practice um, 16 minutes per day. Look at that. I've broken down what I realistically believe I can do for 12 cover songs. Memorized, I said, hey, I think I need eight hours uh, per song. I might need more. I might have to adjust this, and that's okay. But right now, we're taking that time to plan it. 60 minutes, because I don't want to work in hours, um, which means I would have to break that down into 30 days, because I want to do a daily practice of guitar. And if I don't get it done, it's okay. It's not the end of the world. I'm just going to double up the next day. I'll do 32 minutes. So 16 minutes per day is nothing. And it makes it easier for me to digest my overall habit, my overall goal, because uh, you floss, can, can you floss one tooth? Great. Now can you floss two teeth the next time? You want to build up to that point. A little bit goes a long way. More importantly, consistency goes a long way too. So I've broken down my steps uh, for my plan. Step four. So we've done three steps. One step, come up with a habit. Step two, create a year-end measurable goal. Step three, break down that year-end goal to form a plan. 16 minutes per day equates to eight hours per song, equates to one song a month, uh, 12 months in a year, 12 cover songs. Step four, determine your quest trackers is what I'm saying. So how, think about how you're going to measure your progress in sessions. Uh, maybe you can even factor a reward for uh, being able to accomplish your day-to-day -day goals. And so for me, I wrote down every time I complete a 16-minute session, I'll reward myself by depositing $1 into my stock portfolio. And I'm gonna start this today, guys. I've I've actually done six days already, so I'm gonna I'm going to put six dollars into my investment portfolio stock. Because for me, uh, putting dollars into my stock portfolio investments feels like a reward. And at the same time, I'm not spending that money. I'm not consuming that money. I'm just giving it back to myself. I'm investing in myself. Something that one day I'm going to promote and share with you guys, especially if you're young. Take advantage of, of interest compounding, but that's another lesson. So I'm gonna put $1 into my portfolio stock, and by the end of the year, I should have roughly $365, give or take. Some of these days, there's a vacation. Some of these days, your life gets ruined by something that comes up. I understand, it's not every single day or, or nothing, right? It is consistently trying every single day. And if one day goes by, it's not the end of the world. So I should have roughly 365 day, $65, that's how many days in the year there are, in my portfolio. And another way I wanna track, so you can come up with multiple tra quest trackers, by the way. These are, these are, these don't have to just be limited to one. Another thing I wanted to do is record my cover and publish it online. So that's another way I can keep track, right? By the end of the month, that's it. It's time to perform and it's time for me to present my, my work to the public. Sometimes having someone else accountable, um, keeping each other accountable, that's the whole purpose of our Discord channel. That's why I want you to get involved with it. Um, it helps and it goes a long way. Oh, if you're still watching this video right now, we've, we've hit the 10 minute mark. Um, I actually wanted to, to show you, give you a little bit of a hint uh, I said I was going to personally provide some rewards throughout the month, um, throughout the months, the days, the weeks, the year. Um, this $365, a lot of it, almost all of it, I'll have to see, maybe I'll make some money back from my investments. Uh, at least 250 of that is going back to you guys, whoever follows through with us. Um, and it doesn't have to be, you know, if you miss one challenge, it's okay. Continually apply yourself every single time. It's never too late and it's never too, uh, it's never, it's never too late to start. It's never too early, um, to, to join in. Um, so that $365, just say it, just say it. No guarantees on what exactly it'll be, but it'll be a value equal to that. So 
now that I have a way I can measure my small steps I've taken, um, and I'm rewarding myself $1 every time into my stock portfolio, that keeps me coming back. And that's it, guys, thank you. Um, this is the entire week one challenge. You could break it down as little as this, put your name on it and gamer tag on it too so I can keep track. Um, I'm not getting paid to do any of this. <clears throat> I'm simply here because um, people just don't get it. People don't understand that Yukatsu, uh, the whole point of Yukatsu is for me to be there for you, for any of the mentors that are still with us to be there for you guys. Whether you're an adult, whether you're a child, whether you're a parent, our goal is to help you become the most content person with your own life. No need to set crazy aspirations like having a billion dollars. That's not going to happen for pretty much all of us. Um, but um, what are the small things that will genuinely take you to a happier place? That is my question. That is my search and desire for every single person that I interact with as part of Yukatsu. So get this done. Submit it on the Discord. Just put it in Grind XP chat. Tag me so that I can see it. At me. Um, I'll probably add a little Yukatsu reaction to it. And um, by doing that, that enters you into the raffle for our first uh, challenge of prizes, which I'm going to try to hit us and start us off on a really good note. I don't know exactly what that prize will be yet. Don't do it just for the prize. Do it for you and do it to support the people around you, the people that actually care about you. So let me sign, go back to, uh, yeah, this isn't going to be edited crazily or anything. I'm just going to upload this raw. Thank you so much for tuning in to our first week of challenges for Yukatsu Grind XP. I'm very excited for a project like this. I hope you are too. It's time to start doing, it's time to stop uh, feeling down about ourselves. It's very easy to get into a slippery slope. It's okay to feel sad, but what's more important is how you react to the the world that goes on around you and what what you do, what you can control. I'm gonna stop getting preachy here. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.